Hi guys, I'm Maurice McBeff of Everbloom Floral Design and one of your 2024 design stars. In my last video, I went over the business behind flowers to break down how to fairly price your services and how to budget for an event. In this video, I'll walk you through my design process and talk through some of the ways I make flower selections. We live in a world where visuals speak volumes, which is why it seems everyone goes straight to mood boarding when planning for an event. Using images is the most accurate and to the point way of showing someone what the final product will look like. After a brand inquires with me, I like to put together a look and feel mood board to show what the general aesthetic of their florals will be like. The images I select aren't always flower specific, but when you look at the board as a whole, it makes you feel a certain way. My goal when selecting florals is to choose flowers that embody that look and feel. It's silly, but I do believe flowers have personalities and in a minute, I'll show you what I mean. After a brand officially books with me, I'll put together a more detailed deck to show specific flower arrangement inspiration, along with a floral selection list to show the flowers I hope to use for their event. At this stage, I like to reach out to my Mayash rep to review what's currently in season and available. Oftentimes brands, beauty brands in particular, have floral guides and flowers they will approve of in representation of their brand. I've worked with a brand who wanted garden roses, peonies, and lilac in rich berry colors. These are all flowers I love to use, however, they have limited availability. When working with a brand like this, it's important to keep the lines of communication open to review this with them. Remember that you're the flower expert and letting them know what they can and cannot have is a part of the job. If a brand is less specific about flower choices, I found it's most helpful to speak in terms of colors and a look and feel to give them floral selections that fit those descriptions. Here are three different sample mood boards to show what a look and feel concept might look like. The first is bright, pink, feminine, and playful. The next one is warm, rustic, textural, and yellow. And last being raw, organic, light, and airy. After the direction is approved, I'll move to solidify my flower order and plan out my production schedule. I wanna highlight Mayesh's online flower ordering platform, which has changed the game when it comes to ordering flowers. Mayesh, box lots, have been a huge help to me as I've worked with brands in the past. I'm able to go online, view a live inventory, and get product in bulk at an incredible price point. For the events I've worked with only one to three weeks turnaround time, box lots have been the backbone of my order. If you're unfamiliar with the service Mayash offers, I highly recommend you reach out to your rep and get a tutorial on how to use this ordering platform. From the three mood boards, here are the floral selections created from each look. The stunning florals in these arrangements were all provided by Mayash. Shout out to Dennis and Kate from the Carlsbad Mayash branch who let me pull and curate the stunning pull from their floor. The first features sweet peas, peonies, astilbe, and noreen. Sweet peas and peonies have a high petal count with ruffle edges, really creating a feminine feel. Remember when I said flowers have personalities? The movement and texture of the noreen creates an interesting and playful feel here. This arrangement has no greenery. It's fully saturated with pink, which gives it more of a high-end look. We know that an arrangement like this costs much more than an arrangement with a lot of greenery, making it the preferred design choice for high-end brand. The second arrangement might be featured in a lifestyle brand catalog or styling shoot. This tall vase looks like it belongs on a kitchen counter or console table. A retail store might also order an arrangement like this to go on a display shelf. The sunflowers in this arrangement really highlight the Italian countryside aesthetic. The yellow dill and honeysuckle also add a rustic feel to the arrangement. Overall, the selection of florals and styling of them look more like someone could pick these from their yard and arrange them in their homes. Typically, this is the type of look lifestyle brands look for when pairing florals with their products. The last arrangement also has a natural and organic feel to it. It has a little more of a raw look to it. There are very few bloomy flowers and it features a lot of filler florals like rice flower, astilbe, veronica, and tuberose that give it plenty of texture. The agrostemma floats above it all to create a wild flower look, again, highlighting raw and natural movement. An arrangement like this might be featured with a clothing brand or health and wellness brand. I hope this tutorial gives you confidence on how to communicate with a brand and deliver a final product you know they'll love. Remember, your Mayash rep is always available to review floral availability and help you create an order that will speak into a look and feel. Thank you again to Mayash for always being available to help support us as designers. Their platform has really helped me build my business over the years and make it possible for me to deliver stunning florals to my clients.